And as long as we have our faith and trust in God, something positive will come out of this. Members of Portland Bethel AME Church honored their sister church in South Carolina this Sunday. Thanks for watching Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Chris Holmstrom. As the church members remembered their fallen sisters and brothers in South Carolina, Portland police was right outside to provide an extra level of security. And Coin 6 Jennifer Dowling has more just on what this meant to the church. Right, Chris, it was a very important day for them, and they were relieved that police were there. Members say they're continuing to rally support for those affected by the shooting, and there were no disruptions to the Portland service today, but police were ready outside just in case. Parishioners wore black ribbons at Bethel AME to show solidarity with the shooting victims in South Carolina. It's a big loss and also should be a big awakening for the world. Nathan Reddit has been a member here for 78 years. This is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. He spent Dad's Day honoring those who lost loved ones at their sister church. I honor those people and I respect them, love them. It was also a time for police to lend a hand to the community, making sure houses of worship had an extra layer of security. You're a little cautious anyway, and then when something like that happens, it makes you even more alert to what's happening. Portland police promised to increase patrols on neighboring streets this weekend, a quiet presence outside as worship was going on inside. We look at the police as our friends. LaFerrist Gay says they have partnered with police before. They come to some of our meetings and things, you know, about neighborhood walks and what we can do to, you know, improve the neighborhood. He says their presence is important as they move forward as a church. Very tragic event, but, you know, we'll get, we'll get past it. People just have to open up their heart, their eyes, and their soul and realize that we're all here. We're all God's children. And police plan to continue those patrols for the next two weeks.